everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club! Hello! I am here with uh, Kenzie again. Uh, Hello, I am so glad to be back to this wonderfulness, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, some chaotic book reading is what I like to call yep. it. Exactly. What now, she said. We were trying to find some book to read that was sure enough that we can blow through through it without without being too boring and Kenzie was able to find a good book off of Wattpad that seemed interesting enough yep I basically found one on Noah and Cody I'm guessing it's about them having a gay moment or some shit <laughs> so <laughs> it will be interesting absolutely will I mean, I mean they did have the kissing scene in the in the what the third episode yeah the third episode of yeah. Island during yeah. the sleeping challenge. Yeah, so no wonder why this this ship like a, a whole yeah, ship. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's understandable, <laughs> honestly. All right, so this is called Falling for You, a total drama fan fiction featuring Noah and Cody. Now, this is this has been canceled by the author. They're no longer writing this, but I'm in mad disappointed yeah. if this is real good. <laughs> right, same. I'm going to be so bad. So <laughs> I was just skimming through, just, just, I didn't read anything in the chapters, I just looked at the description, the table context, and the, the chapters are all named, like, chapter whatever number, and then it just has, like, chapter one, Noah, chapter two, Cody, chapter three, Noah. <laughs> yep. So, just, I can't wait to read it. I think they're, like, they're, like, pobs or, like, the point of view things or some shit, mm -hmm. so... I'm right. guessing, like, that's what it is. I'm guessing that, too. <laughs> Alright, where's the start button? I gotta read this. <laughs> Same. It, it's, it should have didn't, it won't take that long to read. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It doesn't seem like it'll take long. It's just big paragraphs. <laughs> yeah. Alright, do you want to start this one, or do you want me to? Um, I'll go ahead and start. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Noah's pop. All right, here we go. Right now at this moment, I was seasick. I've been on this boat for like two hours already waiting to arrive. Hey, look, I see other boats. We are almost there. Don't puke yet. The boat driver informs, the boat driver informs me. I quickly stood up. Hey, Natalie. Natalie? Who's Natalie? <laughs> I'm no clue. You have a mirror I could use real quick? I asked the boat driver. Oh, yeah, sure. Natalie hitted me. Her, her hand mirror. I fixed up my hair. I looked like a wreck. My clothes were all wrinkled. My hair was messed up. And I looked pale. Natalie, Natalie, you, you give me a water? I, I asked. There, there's water all around us, buddy, she joked. Wow, thanks. Like, that, that's like so helpful, I sneered. Look, look, kid. We are only five minutes away from the island. You'll live. You'll live, Natalie taunted, steering the boat. I took a deep breath. Come, Noah, just act cool. I, I, I thought to myself. I just have to remember what my coach, a.k.a. my sister Julia, taught me. Keep keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I mean, I'm sure I won't, I'm sure I won't even make enemies. Out, out of where the boat just stopped. But that caused me, that caused me to fall. Hey, why do we stop? I asked Natalie. I asked Natalie. I asked Natalie. <laughs> We have to we have to wait in in line with the other boats. We we have to wait for your we have to wait for your turn to get on the island basically, Natalie said. Yeah, I think I know what it means to wait in a line, <laughs> I mumbled. I peeked at the boats ahead. There were like 12 boats in front of me. Damn, this is probably going to take forever. About 10 minutes later the boat stopped at a at a dock. I went down the stairs holding my suitcase. But bye, no, Noah. Bye, Noah. Good luck, Natalie said, driving off. Then a man, then a man with a wannabe skate with a wannabe skater accent walks up to me. <laughs> he chuckles. Our next contestant is Noah. He introduced me while trying to look good for the camera. Wait, you got my memo about life-threatening allergies? I sneer. I'm I'm sure someone did. The host replied. Good. Is this where we are staying? I asked the other boy contestants. I picked over at the island. I could tell already that it already smells over there. I looked at the beach. There was tr there was trash and dead fish on the sand. 
No, no, it's your mother's house, and, and we're throwing a party. A contestant with the green mohawk and piercings that that looked infe that looked infected <laughs> replied while cracking his knuckles, <laughs> meaning Duncan. You know, if he got that in prison, it probably is very infected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Cute, nice piercings, original. Do them yourself, I mocked. Yeah, you want one? The green mohawk I replied while grabbing my lip and, and hold a sharp needle. Um, no thanks. They spelt no wrong, but... They spelt no and thanks horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, there, there's a lot of... I think it's because, like, he's getting his lip hole, so he's like, um, no thanks, can I have my lip back? <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense then. <laughs> Could I ha can I have my lip back, please? I, I ask. I was not looking forward to starting fights on the first day of camp. The Mohawk kid let go of my lip. Hey, thanks, I said to him. After that, I I, I, heard, I hear a lady shout shouting. I'm so terrible at reading this. <laughs> What's up? What's up, y'all? Lashana's in the house. She looked okay. I would say she's one of the... She's one of those rapper wannabes. Wow, they didn't have to do my girl like that. That's so racist. <laughs> that was <laughs> so... What? <laughs> oh my god. Damn, no, so what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was just... No. That was so uncalled for, dude. <laughs> like one of those girls who think they are a crackhead and quirky. Oh my god. A crackhead. Now is is Noah white with a like a tan or is he like a different nationality? No, I, I think he is. He's like a white person disguised. He's like a white person. He's definitely a white person with a tan. Okay, like I, totally. There's I've, no way. I've seen some fan fictions where they say he's Indian, so I don't know if like if that's canon or oh. not. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Me either. It might be. It, it might not. I'm not really sure, but... I'm not really sure, but... Me either. Do you, want, do you want me to take over reading? Since we're halfway oh, sure. through this chapter? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Alrighty. For after her arrival, this this musty-looking gingerhead geek with glasses went up to her and called her big or something. I couldn't really hear, but they were about to start shit. While these two other girls were arriving i was looking at the other contestants most of them were just regular losers or just basic there was this angry looking girl with sunglasses i could already tell she was going to be the mean girl there was a blonde girl with a blue ba bandana standing next to her she was just talking to her even though the other girl was clearly ignoring her i could just tell they were going to be the mean girls who try to start crap with people Trust me, I've seen many shows like this before. I know what happens. I look back at the dock to see this kid with a hat who says he's been homeschooled or something like that. He ran with his suitcase standing right beside me. Oh boy, he smelled really bad. I, I can see that act like Zeke has never heard Honestly, of a shower yeah. before. I cover my nose. Dude, when's the last time you showered? I asked him. Hmm, I don't remember. He replied with a smirk, thinking it was funny. He smelled like a cow took a shit on him or something. I ran away from him. I stood next to this tall buff guy that had a D on his shirt. He was just standing there smiling. Creepy. The next contestant came off of the boat with his short, skinny boy with a, ga a gape tooth. He walked in an awkward way. He was trying to impress all the girls near him. That Lashana girl just told him to go away, I think. I could really I couldn't really make out what they were saying. The gap tooth short kid walked over next to me. He stood near me. Dude, I like your sweater vest. It's neat, the kid said. I rose my eyebrow. Um, thanks, I guess. I replied to him. I couldn't tell I could tell he's probably the weird kid that had too much confidence in himself. Like <laughs> like the like the kid kind of kid who thinks he's quote unquote hot when he speaks up <laughs> no problem man my name's cody what's your name he asked and i looked at him name's noah i replied he grabbed my hand and i sh and shook it nice to meet you dude he sm he said smiling and still shaking my hand yeah um you too 
I said, shaking his hand in an awkward smile on my face. Oh, that, okay. <laughs> that was a good basic chapter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the Lashana part, though, was just so uncalled for. <laughs> Same. They didn't have to do my girl like that. <laughs> like a crackhead? Why would you assume she's a crackhead? <laughs> I mean, she does come with a lot of energy, but I don't think it's crackhead energy. It, right. Izzy is what who I would describe as crackhead energy. Exactly. I agree. I love this comment right here that just says he wants you for real, for real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, three totally. weeks ago, this stuff is made recent. Like that, this person read that recently. Damn. <laughs> All right, chapter two, Cody's point of view. Okay. <laughs> this will be interesting. Absolutely. On this boat, I started to get really bored. I was pacing back and forth and walking around in circles. I've been on this boat for two out. I've been on this boat for two hours. The first few the first few hours wasn't wasn't really that boring because I was playing games on my phone and texting my cousin on Facebook. I also kind of made small talk w- with the boat driver, boat driver Maple. Maple Maple what what are we are we there yet? I whined. No, Cody. No, we are not. We still have thirty minutes left to go. And you asked the same question about five minutes ago, Maple joked. Yet Yes, and can't you go any faster, I questioned. Nope, this is the fastest I could go. McLean hasn't paid the bills for hasn't paid the bills for these boats in a while, so yeah, Maple added on. Oh wow. How do you know that? That was a stupid question, I asked. <laughs> uh, uh, of, co- of course she knows that. She She's like the boat driver. Well, first of all, I work for McLean. And, 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 I'm, his, and I'm his niece. A, lo- a lot of people felt bad for me because, because of that little fact about me, Maple explained. Oh, why do people feel bad for you, though? If you don't, if you don't mind me asking, I questioned. I feel bad if I was related to Chris McQueen. <laughs> Same. I feel bad for myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, honey. Where do I even start? First off, he's a creep. Right now, he's just he's just using you kids to get money off, off this show. He barely pays his interns who risk their lives making sure the challenges are are safe for you. This is basically child abuse. Oh, oh, and he will try to bri- he will try to bribe you to. To just start drama so he can get get more ratings. Don't ever don't ever listen to a single word he says. You got that? Mabel explained. This is horrible. Is this even legal? I really hope he doesn't try to interact with me in a creepy way or even try to bribe me. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> plus, plus, how do you know all this stuff? I replied. Cody, half the camera, half the camera crew, makeup artists are family members of me and McLean. He, he only tells his family members his plans. Plus, I've also seen. See him host on other shows. I host his behavior with contestants on the shows. Maple continued. Please don't tell anyone. I mean anyone. I told I told you all all of this. Me, McLean, and the camera crew and enters can can get arrested for this. Ma- Maple begged. I was so confused. If she didn't want to tell anyone about this conversation, then, then why have it? Then why have it in the first place? Also, I wasn't really. I wasn't really the best at keeping secrets. Okay, I am terrible at keeping secrets. It, it, it all started back in sixth grade. I had a best friend named named Leah. Leah had a crush on this girl named Sophia. And let's just say I kind of blathered it out, blathered it all out to Sophia. It was a total accident, though. It was just it was just next to Sophia making small talk to me, and the word vomit just came out. And this is also probably one of the reasons why I, why I barely have any friends. Dang. Poor Cody. I feel bad. I think there's a little bit more reasons why you don't have friends, but I guess yeah. that could be one of them. <laughs> well, that's true, though. This secret Mabel just told, just told me was big. I couldn't let her down. I really hope I don't, I don't blather it out to a random person. I was only good at keeping my own secrets, because... Because they were about me. Like, I still haven't told anyone that I was gay. Not even my cousin or my parents. Well, my parents are never home, so I don't have I don't have to. 
I looked at Mabel, who was who was still waiting for me to agree. I said, don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Plus, I bet but I don't know anyone in this show, so I probably won't won't blather it out to anyone. Mabel sighed in relief. Thank you so much, Cody, she said. I, I nodded. The next thing you know, we, we bump into this boat ahead of us. There... There was dude. There was dude on it wearing a blue hat and a greenish sweat sweatshirt that was dusty. <laughs> hey, hey, why you why are you crashed into my boat, yo? The boy, the boy yelled out. I'm so sorry. I did not see. I, I did not see you both there. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. So so sorry, Mabel. Mabel apologized. It's fine, eh? It's almost my turn, yo. Don't don't screw up my moment, eh? The boy yelled. He was really he was really pissed off for some reason. I love the um, way that they ascribe Ezekiel is a is a musty, crusty, dusty dude. <laughs> right. It's so right. fitting. Um, Mabel, what what are we online for? I questioned. Oh, oh, we're waiting online so I can so I can drop off at the dock to the island. Mabel replied. Wait, wait, we're already? Oh God! Oh God! What am I? What am I supposed to say when I when I get on the island? <laughs> I can't speak for some reason. Do I act my do, do I act my gay self, or or do I just be be a straight jock ladies man boy? <laughs> Wait, what? He's he's trying his best. <laughs> I guess so. He's like, should I hide it or should I just embrace it? <laughs> right. <laughs> should I be straight or should I be gay? <laughs> What a choice, <laughs> right? I thought and decided to go with the ladies' man, with the go with the ladies' man boy. I I I guess I have to flirt with the girls on the island. Fun. Plus, plus I don't know if there's any, if there's any homophobias on the island. <laughs> the next thing you know, the boat stops near the dock. Good luck, good luck, Cody. Remember your promise. Maple shouted, shouted out to, out to me while driving off on the boat. Those came up to me. Cody, the coatster, the codemeister. Those shouted at me while giving me a high five. I cracked a smile. Come, come on, Cody, play it cool. Act. Wait, come on, Cody, play it cool. Act like you're straight. I thought to myself. I, 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 st I started. I started walking in a weird way. Dude, dude, sky to be here, man. I said. I, I see. The ladies have already arrived. All right, I said, winking. I, I I wanted to speak and say and say psych, but this girl but this girl shushed me. Say save it short stuff, she shouted. That was so embarrassing. All the other guys guys that guys that were laughing at me. There 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 was there was this other guys who, who gave me a look like dang, this kid is weird. I, I, I walked over to him I walked over to him and stood next to him. He didn't say anything. I, I thought I, I thought of starting small talk with him. Maybe we can be friends and form an alliance or something. Dude, I like your sweater vest. It's neat, I, I started off. Why would I say it's neat? That was so ridiculous. The boy with the sweater sweater vest looked at me and, and raised his eyebrow. I just smiled at him. Um, thanks, I guess, he replied. I, sm I smiled at him. He, di he didn't really seem to care. No problem, man. My name is Cody. What's your name? I asked. He raised his eyebrow. Name's Noah, he replied. Without without think, I grabbed his hand and started sh shaking it. Nice to meet you, dude. I said, smiling. Uh, you too. He said while smirking a little. That, that was kind of embarrassing and awkward. Why would I grab his hand? It just made me feel awkward. Another girl contestant arrived arrived on the island. She looked tough. I would I went to greet her, but but she dropped her bag on my foot. Ow! What what you what you got in there? Dumbbells? I. I asked while I held my foot in pain. Yes, she replied. Everyone behind me chuckled. The last of you campers arrived. Okay, cut, the host shouted at the camera crew. Can you guys, like, stand a little farther from me, please? I, I don't have a good close-up lighting, the, the host told the camera crew. While, while the host was explaining something to the camera cr crew, I, I noticed that the, doc, that the doc, me and everyone else was standing on was very old and, and it looked like it could break at any moment i didn't say anything didn't want didn't want to be annoying the hose quickly told his makeup crew, crew to fix his hair they they quick they quickly done that the host then clear his throat 
s smiled and looked back at the camera. Okay, we are rolling again in three, two, one. All right, at least we got it from uh, Cody's perspective on this one. Yeah. <laughs> I, th that is some, that is some random shit with the bus driver. <laughs> Just like it's like yeah. she was waiting for that of like someone to ask her, and she's like, "Oh, grab a seat. I need to tell you everything." <laughs> right. That's so odd. Like, why would the bus driver like just tell him everything just flat out? I mean, like, I mean, I must warn you. I, I mean, like that's how I am with with like work stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, like someone I mean, tell me something at work, and they're like, "Don't tell anyone about this." And I'm like, "I'm like, dude, you can count on me." And then I run to my boy. And I'm like, "Cameron, Cameron, I gotta tell you a secret." <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, as if you can trust, as if you can trust him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, since so, so you did that whole one, I'll, I'll go through this entire chapter. It's only fair. Okay. Alrighty. Noah's point of view. I guess that's why they named the chapters off of the, off of the guys. But like, I, well, I guess, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. All right. Noah's point of view. The host smiled at the camera and then at me. We basically. Well, basically all of the other contestants also. He said that it was time to take a group photo to get a fresh start of the new season. I wasn't really the kind of guy who liked taking <clears throat> photos. All you have to do is just stand there and smile like an idiot. I just... I got into a pose when, when out of nowhere this big guy with the blonde hair picked me up. I suppose he was trying to be funny. Pathetic. I could already tell he was probably that annoying kid who thinks he's cool by doing the dumbest stuff. Don't talk to Owen like he's lovely. <laughs> right? Don't worry. They're going to be BFS by the end of this season. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Absolutely. The host stood on top of a boat with his that this redhead fell off of, probably to get a better view. The host was about to take a picture. I put on a smile over my... I inadequate face. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh, forgot the lens cap. Hold that pose. The host said while taking off the lens cap. The host tried to take a photo again, but something was off with the lighting. Is he that dumb or something? What does the lighting have to do with anything? Right? It's not like anyone's actually going to see the photos when they watch this crappy show. Come on, exactly. man, my face is starting to freeze when the girls groaned. Okay, okay, we're all good. Everyone say, Wawanakwa, the host called out. Wawanakwa, everyone shouted at the same time. Then, out of nowhere, the dock, bird, the dock boards break. Everyone fell into the water underneath us. Some were gasping for air. The host chuckled. Okay, guys, dry up and meet by the campfire in ten. He wasn't even going to help us out? I swam over to the shore, and I made it to the beach. Me and a few others were sitting there trying to catch our breaths. Chris was standing there staring. Hey, I said come in ten. That took that took six people seven minutes to just swim here? So slow. The host mocked. Well, maybe, maybe if you helped us, we wouldn't take seven minutes of your filling time. I shot back, still out of breath. The host whispered something to himself and walked back to the campfire. A, a few minutes later, more people came up to the shore. Some passed out. Some were catching their breaths. This is ridiculous, one of the girls yelled while squealing, squeezing the wetness of her hair. The host came back to the beach and counted us. Dudes, dudes, that almost took a half an hour for you all to get here, the host shouted. If only I had the guts to punch the shit out of him, I would, no joke. <laughs> Chris, I am so, 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 so sorry. I'm not a strong swimmer. You can even ask Katie. She can totally agree with you. Right, Katie? The girl with the pigtails asked the other girl next to her. I assumed the girl next to her was Katie. Katie nodded, looking like she was about to puke. How do you call yourself not a strong swimmer? You got here before me. And you also pushed me out of the way and almost killed me. The kid with the gape tooth yelled out. I think his name was Cody or something like that. I remember talking to him earlier. All right, stop arguing. Everyone come to the campfire this instant. The host yelled. Damn, he was really had enough of us already. It's only been an hour. We all went to the campfire. 
Some of the others were sitting down on stools or on the floor, and some of us just stood up. The host, I actually just found out his name was Chris, stood there and waited for some of the other campers to dry off. He stood there with a annoyed expression on his face. What the fuck does he want us to do? I mean, we did fall into the lake. He, we could have seriously gotten hurt. Anyway, he started rolling again. I got picked to be on a team called the, the Screaming Gophers. Sounded like an odd name, but it's cool, I guess. The other people that were on my team were a goth girl, dumb blonde, high, high redhead, brace face, sir eats a lot, Mrs. Stuck Up, diva, ghetto girl, guitar guy, the gape tooth kid, Mr. I'm so hot guy, and one of the quirky best friends. Yeah, I give them all some nice nicknames. I cannot figure out some of these nicknames. Right? Who's Ghetto Girl? I'm guessing it's Oh, Lashana. that's Lashana. I'm so stupid. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh. I mean. I mean, like, that's something that Heather would say. That's. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Yeah. Chris showed us to our cabins. It was kind of bigger in the inside than it was on the outside. There were four bunk beds. Mr. I'm So Hot Guy and Sir Eats A Lot shared a bunk with with each other. Guitar guy didn't want to share with anyone, so that just leaves me and Gape Tooth Kid. He just, he was laying down on the top bunk. I walked over to my bed and started unpacking. The Gape Tooth Kid looked over at me and smiled. I just rolled my eyes. Haha, <laughs> looks like we're gonna share a bunk. Bunk bed together. The go- the Gape, the Gape Tooth Boy started off. I guess he just wanted to be my friend. I don't blame him. I mean, who wouldn't want to be fr- be my friend? Mm-hmm. I nodded. I started getting changed into my swimsuit. After a few minutes of all the other boys in the cabin did as well, Cody went to the bathroom to get changed for some reason. I just shrugged it off. Cody came back to the cabin in his swimsuit on, and then we all heard the announcement. Alrighty, campers. Start making your way up the hill for our first challenge. We all got up and made our way up to the hill. And then out of nowhere, Chris pulled Cody behind one of the bushes. Please don't tell me I'm the only one who just saw that. I whispered to Owen. Saw what, buddy? Don't worry about it. It's only our face day at camp. He told me with a smile. He was right, though. I shouldn't be worried about what's going on with the host of the show and a boy I barely know. Oh. <laughs> you sure about that, though? I'm a little scared for, for Cody. <laughs> Hon- same. Honestly, same. <laughs> I mean, Chris isn't crazy in season one, so hopefully it's mild, you know? Yeah. He only I think he starts getting crazy around, like, season three. That's when it, like, definitely. something's yeah, definitely. not right in the brain. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, is he? Out of no- oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, out of nowhere, I felt something or someone grabbed my arm and pulled me behind a bush. I fall to the ground. I look up to see who pulled me over there, and it was Chris. What the heck, man? I shouted. I shouted. I shouted as I was getting back up on my feet. Are you trying to hit me or something? Because if you are, I'm not interested. I shouted at him. What the fuck, dude? And and and, and no, and no, I'm not trying to do do any of that to you. Chris replied. Oh, okay. What do you want then? I questioned. Well, you, well, you see. How do I explain this? Chris was starting off. What could this creep possibly want? I thought to myself. See here, I want to make a deal with you, man. If you if you agree to agree to this, you will get half of my paycheck. Chris said. This was crazy. Does this guy even even get paid though? Is is this a scam? I have so many que- I have so many questions. But the most important question is, should I trust him? I thought for a moment. Well, what exactly do you want me to do? I asked him. He put his arm around me and said, Well, hmm, I haven't really thought about that yet, but I will bring you back here at the end of the game once I've thought about it, okay? He had a huge smile on his face. Creepy. Uh, sure, I guess. But I haven't really thought about this whole deal thing. At the moment... I was interrupted by Chris shoving me out out of the bush, 
and I fell right on top of the other camper, on uh, one of the other campers. Oh shit! I fell right on top of that Noah kid. Ah, sorry. I shouted nervously while getting up. Hey, but well, well, watch where you watch where you're getting pushed, moron. Noah shouted back. He already had something against me. Great. I already have one person turned against me, and a creepy host trying to make an illegal alliance thing with me. <laughs> so far, this first day of camp is horrible. After after that whole inc incident, the camera started rolling again. For, for the challenge, we have to jump off a hundred a hundred foot cliff into a pool with man eating sharks. Well, that's really something. That Natalie girl in the boat was right. Chris McQueen is a psycho. Time time skip to where they are opening the crates because I don't know what's going on. I love when authors Fair put enough. that shit. <laughs> you really they time put skip. That there? <laughs> okay. I was surprised that Owen was the guy who made our team win. I didn't think he was actually gonna jump while walking down, while walking down back to the camp, so he, so he could build our hot tubs. I heard whispering coming from the bush. Cody, Cody. I I heard someone whispering my name. Did I, did I pulled behind a bush, a, behind a bush again. I, I looked up to see Chris. I almost forgot about the deal thing he asked me about. I haven't really thought of accepting it. It depends on the task thing I have to do. So, man. So, man. I I, I got an idea. I got an idea of what you could do for me, okay? Uh, okay. So, what would you like, like me to do? Oh, and I haven't really thought about accepting this yet. So, so just tell me what I, gotta, what I gotta do and I'll think about it. Hmm, okay. So, so like, you know that girl on our team who, who, who's, like, goth and all? Yeah, and I think her name is Gwyn, or Gilda. Probably was Gwyn. So what about her? So what about her? Well, it's kind of obvious that, that she likes that Trent kid. Am I right? <laughs> Anyways, I need you to pretend... I need you to pretend you like her! <gasps> that is so mean. <laughs> Oh no! Anything for ratings. <laughs> that explains why he was sipping over her. Oh shoot! Wait, can you imagine though if that was the, actually the case? Oh, that would be so fucking funny. <laughs> that actually really would. And this gets like revealed during like Paladay losers that like he had an illegal alliance and they pull like footage. Oh, that oh would have been gosh, amazing. Yes. Oh. That why wasn't this in the show? <laughs> right? That would have made so much sense if they did that. Because, like, Chris will do anything for ratings. Anything. Even if it means what we're seeing here. Like, right here. I, I do feel like this would be a season three Chris thing to do. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, probably. Okay, Especially with yeah, the probably. stupid ass love triangle. Because it's, like, implied that he broke the lock to the bathroom to cause this whole love triangle thing to happen. So I would. Wait, really? I think it's implied that he he busted huh. the, the lock. So, wouldn't mm -hmm. put it past him. <laughs> yep, <laughs> me neither. Like, 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 pretend you are obsessed with her and, and love her so and love her so much you'll, eat, you'll even steal her bra? Oh, like 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 do you, like do, do you would basically do anything for her? All right, dude. Those words that left Chris's mouth left me shocked. He wanted to, he wanted to play with her feelings. I thought to myself. Plus, I'm not even straight, which is the funny part. Whoa, whoa. That seems a little too extreme. Plus, what? Plus, why do you want me to do such an important thing like this? I asked him. A huge grin appeared on his face. <laughs> Cody, Cody, we, we we both know you probably you probably never were the cool kid in school. <laughs> we we both know you probably probably never been asked out asked out to anything, and we both know you probably you probably have not many friends. Oh my God, that's so me. <laughs> I, I mean, damn. Dude, Chris is just like we all know that you're a loser, kid. So He's what like options do you have? Into him. It's like the, that Teen Titans thing is like, we may not always listen to you. Sure, we right. bug the shit out of you, and we never listen to you. There is no but. That exactly. is all. <laughs> That's the exact vibe I'm getting from this.
conversation. Absolutely. Man's just getting ripped for no reason. Right? Like, why? He, t- he told me while putting his hands on my shoulders, he was right. I was always the gay, quiet kid in school who never really had any friends. Wait, but, but, but what will you get out of all this? I asked him. He started grinning again. For, for the views, of course. Just imagine a little geek like you, liking a girl like Gwyn, and you getting in the way of their relationship. Just think of it. Me and my camera crew were... Or me and my camera crew are going to be keeping a good eye on Gwyn and Trent's relationship. We 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 just we just need you to get in the way of things. It's pretty simple, man. If you do accept this deal, you will be in episodes a lot, and 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 you'd also get half of my paycheck if if this crappy show becomes a hit. So, do we have a deal, man? Chris said as he put his hand out, one, wanting me to shake it. I thought for a moment. This could be my chance. Maybe I could even become a fan favorite. Without hesitating, I roughly shook his head. Okay, we have a deal, I told him. I went back to my team, who were almost finished filling the hot tub. Hey, where were you, man? We, we, we could have really used your help, Trent stated. Oh, uh, well, Chris, Chris wanted to talk to me about my, I, uh, allergies. Yeah, my allergies, I lied. So, so what started to drip drip down my face? Uh, okay. Just j- just don't go out on our team again, Trent said while while walking away to help the rest of the rest of the team. Trent is so nice. I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm going to have to be annoying to to and Gwen. But this is an opportunity to stay closeted and to try to be a fan favorite. I mean, besides, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Oh, next chapter, we're getting Noko. <laughs> right. I was wondering, like, we are, like, almost five chapters in. We have not gotten a single good moment between these two. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, well, better late than never, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. All right, chapter five, Noah's point of view. To my surprise, my team actually won the challenge. I think I kind of regret calling those names I called earlier. Yeah, I know. I know. It sounds a, sounds like a lot coming from me. After that whole hot tub party thing, I found out that the hi- that homeschool kid named Ezekiel got voted off. I mean, I can see why. He smelled and he made a sexist remark. I bet it was mostly the girls who voted him off. But it was still wrong what he did, though. All right, campers. We just finished filming our second episode. Stream and gophers, start finishing up your little party and go to bed. Same for you, killer bass, Chris announced. Chris is right. We should probably get get out now. It's getting pretty late, Trent stated. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I, I'll have to get a moon tan some other day, Justin said while smiling. Owen was just staring at him like he was... I don't, I don't know... Like he was the prettiest person in the world or some shit like that. <laughs> After that, everyone got out of the hot tub and went to the cabins. As soon as I got dressed and sat down on my bed, Cody looked down at me. What does this kid possibly want? Hey, what you doing? He asked. Well, I'm about to go to sleep. Oh, wait. Do I? But I don't know if I can because someone is looking over at me. Oh, uh, sorry, I guess. He said while going back up to his bed. I slowly shut my eyes and drifted off. Psst. Noah. Noah. Wake up, please. I heard a voice whispering my name. I felt a warm hand on my arm that was shaking me to wake up. I rubbed my eyes. I opened them to see Cody. What the hell could this kid want from me? Cody, what the fuck, dude? What time is it? I, I asked while getting up. I don't know. There's no clock here. Anyways, can you walk with me to the bathroom? I'm afraid of the dark. No, that's a very Cody thing. I, I can see that. That was definitely, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I rolled my eyes. Cody, why are you asking me this? There's other boys in the cabin, you know. I told him while rubbing my eyes. They won't wake up, and I really have to go. Can you come or not? I was annoyed at this point, but since I was already awake, why the hell not? Fine, but don't think we're friends after this. I'm here to win. I groaned while sitting up. Yeah, okay. 
Cody said while skipping out the door. We started walking to the bathroom area, and it was really dark and cold out. Okay, we're here, Cody said while pointing to the bathroom. Okay, but hurry up, I don't have all day, I whispered, yelled. Cody quickly ran into the bathroom. After he ran, that girl who I called Mrs. Stuckup Diva came out with green stuff on her face that made her more hideous than she already was. Then the dumb blonde came out following her with the same green stuff on her face. Ugh, watch where you're going with your blind ass, she shouted at Cody. Oh, sorry, ladies, Mm -hmm. Cody said while running inside. I was just standing there. Are you going to stand there or go inside or are you going to spy on us, creep? Miss Stuckup Diva shouted at me. Yeah, plus what are you doing up so late? Shouldn't you be sleeping? The dumb blonde started. Is she really that stupid? The real question is, what are you doing up so late? And why do you have that green stuff all over your face? That makes you look more hideous than you already are. Insecure much? I shot back as she smirked. The two girls were shocked. Well, I'm sorry that me and my friend over here can't can't have a little girl's night because your little boyfriend had to use the potty. Plus, I'm not insecure. I bet I'm the only... I'm one of the prettiest bitches on the island, Heather said while grabbing Lindsay and heading back to the cabin. Her face heated up and that... My face heated up at that comment. Boyfriend? <laughs> no. Never. Plus, I've only known each... We've only known each other for not even a full day. After a few minutes, Cody came out of the bathrooms. Hey, what were you... What were you and those two girls fighting about? I heard you guys saying stuff in the stalls. Cody questioned. Oh, it's nothing to cons- for you to be concerned about. She was just yapping and saying random shit. I answered. Cody chuckled. We stood there for a few seconds in silence, and I snapped out of it and grabbed his hand. We should probably get back to the cabin before the others wake up. I mentioned before while dragging back to the cabins. We got in our beds and slowly, and I slowly closed my eyes and drifted to a sleep. That was nice. That <laughs> was. Yeah. A nice little moment between the two. Mm-hmm. I, I do love Heather in this one. She, I feel like she's written pretty well. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was, de- she was written very well. Definitely. They really captured the bitchy attitude. <laughs> they really did. Which is good because I'm horrible at keeping characters in character. <laughs> I I think I did it. I I think I ju- I think I did it. I think I just made a friend. I think is Noah my friend? I don't really know since I don't have many many back at home. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Calm down, Cody. You j- you just met this guy. It's not like you're gonna be best best friends already. I I I, I look at I looked at my watch. It's three thirty a.m. Oh. Well, should I really, really fall asleep? But I have so much energy. But no, I should really get to sl- I should really get to sleep. I have a big day ahead of me tomorrow. Plus, I, I don't want to be the second person bo- voted off. I closed my eyes and drifted off. Next thing you know, I wake up I wake up to the sound of a broken speaker. It's morning already? I thought to myself, Good morning, campers. Meet meet, meet outside of your cabins in ten. Also, also put put on your clothes. Can't 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 have an unready cast. Chris said over the speaker. I I climbed down the ladder from my bunk. I looked I looked to see Noah. My my bunk but my bunk buddy already. Ugh, sorry about that. You're good. <laughs> my throat clogged for a second. <laughs> my bunk buddy my my bunk buddy already dressed. He, he was also sitting there. Re- he was also sitting there. Ah. He was also sitting there reading. Noah, you're dressed already. How? The announcement just went off. I I, I said, looking at him confused. <laughs> oh well, a little a little birdie woke me this morning. To, to use the bathroom. I I wonder who that birdie was. Cody. He he was giving me a death stare. <laughs> <laughs> Like the Luigi death stare. <laughs> I could see it. Definitely. Massive side eye coming for Noah right now. Yes. I think that little birdie was me. I I almost forgot about waking him this morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that birdie is supposed to be me. No Noah nods while reading 
while reading his book still. Well, I'm gonna go to the bathrooms and get changed. I I, I stated I stated while I was walking to the drawers with with my with my clothes in it. Mm hmm. Okay. See you at the next challenge. Noah said as he walked out the as he walked out of the cabin with my folded outfit in my hand. I, as soon as I as soon as I got into one of the bathroom stalls, I threw my clothes. I had to wear the same outfit every day. I, I have no idea what the work tier did with the rest of my clothes. Clothes I packed. I, I, I got out of the st stall and looked in the mirror. My hair was a little messed up. Decided, decided to brush it out a little. I looked into the mirror. Dang. Why am I so ugly? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, Cody. You have a little confidence in yourself. Right? Exactly. No wonder why Chris cho chose me out of all the people to make an alliance with him. He chose me. Out of all the good-looking people on this island, like Noah, he chose me. Good-looking like Noah. Ooh. There's some chemistry. <laughs> yes. I think we're start. I think we're getting somewhere now. Unfortunately, getting it like somewhere. ends in like the next chapter, but we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yep, we're getting somewhere. I headed back to my cabin. Trent, J Trent, Just, and Owen. Trent, Trent, and Owen were having their own little guy talk with with Noah, but with Noah was still where where he was when when I left him, S sitting on sitting on the bottom bunk reading. Then out of nowhere, a voice came out of the rusty speaker. Okay, campers, meet in the middle of your cabin section in ten. Well, we better get going. Can't keep Chris waiting. Owen stated. We all nodded and left the cabin. At the middle, at the middle of the of the cabins, Chris explained that we. Now we have to run around the whole island to wake to wake us to wake us up a little or something. I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy staring at Eva's music, Eva's music player thing. I I, I was so into into it. I, I I was starting to touch it. Next thing you know, the woman tries to bite me to bite me. I didn't know how to react, so I just smiled. I looked like an idiot. The camera resumed resumed in. Right, right at us, which which made it even worse. I I looked like a fool. Anyways, the least of my problems right now. We have to run around the whole island. Chris, whatever you're planning after this, better be worth it. Basically, when I, Noah passed out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was sitting at one of the tables, feeling a bit, feeling a bit worried. Where where are the others? Did they get lost? Did anyone get hurt? But then out of then. Out of nowhere, Owen, Owen came. Owen came busting through the door, holding Noah, holding Noah who was on unco who was unconscious. Harry and Lashana following behind him, out, out of breath. Oh goodness, is everyone okay? Is Noah okay? Why did he pass out? How did he pass out? Cody stopped asking questions. Cody stopped asking questions and do something. Ah, right. O Owen was. I was. Owen was doing some sort of CPR on Noah. Then Gwen speaks up. Hey. It Hey, if they lost, then that means we won the challenge. No, Noah awoke at the at the comic and started clapping like everyone else on, on the team did. I I went along with it too. We won. Well, that was easy. <laughs> no, that wasn't even the challenge. That was just a warm up. Was he serious? <laughs> he ran around the entire island. We ran around the entire island for nothing. Well, anyways, here's warm here's warm warm number two. Chris said while pulling a curtain down. Behind the curtain was a buffet that could feed a whole party. Wait, why was he being nice? What's he planning? I couldn't think. I was just I was just staring at, at food, starting to drool a little. Well, what are you guys waiting for? Dig in. The other hungry campers, the other hungry campers ran to the buffet, pushing pushing each other, and Chris out of their path. I caught up with them and started eating. I was starving. And another time skip because lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least they admitted it. Dude, I would love to see this in like an official like, like imagine reading the Hunger Games and like halfway through like a very interesting scene like that, like beautifully transpired. It says like time skip to this part because I don't want to write it. <laughs> right. <laughs> the meal was so good. Everyone was tired and almost pa passed out from eating, including myself. Tur turns out that wasn't the challenge either. Cr Chris guy really really likes playing with us. 
Our next challenge is that we basically have to stay awake. Whichever te teammate stays up the longest, they, they win the challenge. They win the challenge for their team. Sounds pretty easy. I used to stay up all night playing video games. Literally me. <laughs> this this shouldn't be that hard. And another time skip. <laughs> Cause why not? Okay, this was harder than I thought. We we were into two hours and almost half the team and almost half the team was almost out already. On both teams. That was insane. I'm I I I I'm almost there though. I I I just I just got to 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 stay a little longer. Next thing you know, I pass out because of Chef's stupid lala vies. I started waking up to a feeling. It it made my stomach tick tickle. It made my face heat up a little. I felt something soft tickling my ear. I felt a warm oh. pair of arms wrapped around me. Oh, there it is. Oh no. There it is. There it is. I wanted to stay in that position forever. I suddenly snapped out of the la la land to screaming in my ear. I realized the person cuddling me was Noah. I quickly I quickly got up screaming with him. We both ran in separate directions. That was so embarrassing. I really hope nobody saw that. Of course someone probably saw it. There's cameras everywhere and we screamed really loud. It's fine. It will all be fine. Besides, what could happen over a little accident? Oh, I really gotta know what, what this ending chapter is. Same. I, the, the fucking music thing that they added is I kissed the boy. The boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Oh, okay, this is cute. Alright. Yeah. All right, chapter seven, Noah's point of view. Oh gosh. I love how this opens with what the fuck just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, boy. Me too. <laughs> Same. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? How did I kiss Cody in my sleep? Why did this happen to me? Why couldn't it just been anyone but me? What will my parents think? I tried my best to get as far away from Cody as possible. I couldn't. I couldn't be seen with him. Just no. I barely knew this kid, and and I somehow accidentally kissed him. His ear was so soft. Snap out of it, <laughs> Noah. Hey, Noah, are you listening? Oh, and snapped at, snapped me out of my days. Huh? Oh, what? Sorry. What was that? I say that I was half asleep. Oh, I just asked if you and Cody were, you know, a thing. You guys, if you guys are, it's fine. I totally support. I'm an LGBTQ plus ally also. Oh, oh, and really just asked me that? I've only what? known Cody for only one fucking day. Right, <laughs> I, exactly. Um, no, Why me and Cody. If if any if I had to pick any contestant, it's definitely Owen being the most fruity, especially with him and yeah, Justin. Definitely. Absolutely. I expect to just be like, no, I'm bisexual. Just, I'm I'm totally cool with that. Yes. <laughs> I uh totally no, <laughs> me and Cody aren't a thing. And uh, thanks for that useless information I didn't need. I answered. I really didn't need to know that he was LGBTQ+. Like, it was it was already obvious. Anyway, that's not something to worry about right now. I kissed the guy. Why? Why? I s I'm still trying to figure out what, how that even happened. Was he near me when I fell asleep? Did someone push us together? That's it. Probably someone pushed us together. But who would do something so cruel like that? I looked around at the people around me. So far, I think it was that Heather girl or one of her minions. Why must you ask? Remember that little agreement me and Heather had? Oh, argument that we had the other night? Well, maybe she wanted revenge or something. And to cover Anderson, she told one of her minions, either Beth or Lindsay, to do it for her. Boom. I'm a genius. I just need to figure out if I'm right or wrong after tonight's campfire. Time to skip an hour later or something. At camp, so the wake up line is still outside. I was inside the showering rooms fixing my vest. So far, the only people awake now are Heather, Duncan, and Gwen. And so far, no one else but Owen said anything about the kiss. Phew. Hey, ah. Oh, it's only Eva. 
She scared the living fuck out of me. If a you almost scared me, I shouted. Damn, calm down. It was an accident. Also, I'm not. That's not why I'm here. I'm keen to ask you. Are you, are you gay? That's just great. I'm. As soon as I thought that people would bring up the whole kissing thing, someone has to bring it up. What? No. Just no. I replied. Then why did you kiss that wimpy kid? It was an accident. I think someone probably pushed us together and s somehow. And yeah. I said, oh damn. Let me help you find whoever that was. If we do find them, I'll break their face. Eva said in an angry tone. She can be scary sometimes. Plus, how do we know if I'm correct with my statement? If I just couldn't, can't control what I do in my sleep. Okay, okay, fine. But I still don't know if I'm correct or not. Noah, how the hell do you kiss someone in your sleep? Were you even near the boy? Eva questioned. Well, I don't remember where I was when I fell asleep. I remember talking to Owen, Izzy, and Courtney. And then the next thing I know, I kissed another guy's ear. Hmm. Well, maybe it was one of the last people you were talking to. Out of, out of nowhere, we heard... Suddenly heard, Woohoo! And... Gwen was the last one standing. Congratulations, Screaming Gophers. This means you guys have won the challenge. Chris shouted. So, wait. My team won. I quickly snapped out of my thought. By Eva. I think this is my cue to go. Gotta get ready for the campfire. Bye, Noah. She said while walking away. I wonder what's who's going to get voted off next. Surprisingly, Eva got voted off. Now what am I supposed to do? Now I don't have anyone to help me figure out who sent me up to kiss Cody's ear and make me look bad. What do I do? That's how they end it? <laughs> <laughs> no! And that's how they end it. Bro. No! No, I want to know what happens! <laughs> me too! Come on! No! You can't end it like that! They ended it on the third episode! Exactly! I want to know if it was a conspiracy. <laughs> exactly. Damn it. Dang. I am so disappointed. <laughs> Same. Like, why would they end it like that? Oh, uh, god damn that it. That sucks. So, uh, what'd you think? <laughs> um, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of disappointing. Like, I really hope that, I really thought that they would, like, I really hope that they would take a like a like a another direction from there, but they did it. They literally just ended like going like what happened and then it ends and then that's how it ends. I can't. Like why? <laughs> I know this book is cancelled and it went it won't probably never come back, but if they do, I will be the first one there when with hey. the update. I wanna know what freaking happens. Like I don't want it to end like that. <laughs> I want to know what happens to Chris and Cody's alliance. I want to know what happened if if Heather really did do that to Noah. What this relationship will blossom into, if they will yeah, even talk about too. it. Oh, like, this would have been this so good. So ready. Because oh. I'm like at the edge of my seat now. I I like I like fell off my seat in this stupid shit. I can't Same. believe it. Like, oh. Uh, why couldn't you just continue it? So if you would like to read this book, if it ever comes back, uh, I will have it linked below. <laughs> if you guys want to look at it and also maybe see what the author has done. Let me see. What else has this author done? Okay. That's it. Just... <laughs> It's literally that just that? It's just the book. <laughs> okay. A canceled fan fiction. Yeah, they were That's nice. That's all they have in like four reading lists. <laughs> I mean I have a I have my own fan fiction that's myself, but which is still unfinished. So but yeah. I don't know if I'll ever continue it or not. Oh, the, the Tess and Alley one? Oh, yeah. I made, a, like, a Tess and Alley fanfic. It, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put the 
link in my um YouTube bio in case any of you guys want to check it out, which is also available on Wattpad. So, it's called More Than True Companions. Maybe, maybe <laughs> that'll be the next one we read. We'll we'll read through it together. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> And now I can also have your input into, like, what you thought about, like, your writing process. That would be good. (laughs) Oh, this is going to be so embarrassing, but I'm ready. I'm prepared. Well, thank you guys for joining us. (laughs) Attempt of writing. Well, thank you guys for joining us on this this reading of a a no-co total drama fan fiction. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we'll find some more golden ones in the Wat in Wattpad <laughs> that yes. aren't like long, okay. long, but that actually have good endings to them. Yes, that won't like edge me for seven chapters and then end. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and I knew it was gonna end too. I just wasn't expecting it like that. <laughs> me neither. I thought they would like shittily wrap it up together and be like, boom, story done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, thank you guys for joining us, and we'll be back next time. Have a good night.